inverse functions. An inverse function reverses or undoes what is done by a function. For instance, let's take our variable x, input it into our function f, and what we get out is f of x. If we want to reverse that, we take f of x, put it into our function f to the minus 1 of x, which is our inverse, and what comes out is x, our original input. Therefore, algebraically, we can write f to the minus 1 f of x is equal to f f to the minus 1 of x which is equal to x. If we want to find the inverse of y equals f of x we follow three very simple steps. One, we interchange x and y. In other words, we change x with y. Two, we rearrange our equation to solve for y. Three, we replace y with f to the minus 1 of x, which is our notation for an inverse function. We also must consider any restrictions on nx and y. 1. Find the inverse of f of x equals 5x plus 2. Rewrite as y equals f of x plus 2. So the first thing we do is interchange x and y. Which, so we get x equals 5y plus 2. We now solve for y. So therefore we get x minus 2 equals 5y. Therefore, y equals x minus 2 over 5. So to write it as an inverse function, replace y with f to the minus 1. So f to the minus 1 equals x minus 2 over 5. So the inverse of f of x equals 5x plus 2 is equal to f to the minus 1 equals x minus 2 over 5. Number 2, find the inverse of f of x equals 4x plus 6 divided by 5. So rewrite as y equals 4x plus 6 divided by 5. Interchange x and y, so you get x equals 4x. 4y plus 6 over 5. Solve for y. So you get 5x is equal to 4y plus 6. Therefore, you get 5x minus 6 equals 4y. Therefore, y equals 5x minus 6 divided by 4. Replace y with f to the minus 1x. So you get f to the minus 1 of x equals 5x minus 6 over 4. So the inverse of f of x equals 4x plus 6 divided by 5 is f to the minus 1x equals 5x minus 6 over 4. Question 3. Find the inverse of f of x equals 4 divided by 2 minus x. So replace f of x with y. So we get y equals 4 over 2 minus x. Interchange x and y. So we get x equals 4 over 2 minus y. Rearrange. So we get x 2 minus y equals 4.
divide by x, so you get 2 minus y equals 4 over x. Rearrange to solve for y, so you get 2 minus 4 over x equals y. Replace y with f to the minus 1 of x. So you get f to the minus 1 of x equals 2 minus 4 over x. So the inverse of f of x equals 4 over 2 minus x is equal to f to the minus 1 of x equals 2 minus 4 over x. In this example, we have a restricted domain for f of x. 2 minus x cannot equal 0. Therefore, x cannot equal 2. Question 4. Find the inverse for f of x equals 3x plus 1 divided by 2. Replace f of x with y. So that y equals 3x plus 1 over 2. Now interchange x and y. So we get x equals 3y plus 1 over 2. Solve for y. So we get 2x equals 3y plus 1. So we get 2x minus 1 equals 3y. Therefore, y equals 2x minus 1 over 3. Replace y with f to the minus 1 of x. So we get f to the minus 1 of x is equal to 2x minus 1 over 3. Therefore, the inverse of f of x equals 3x plus 1 over 2 is equal to f to the minus 1 of x equals 2x minus 1 over 3. The horizontal line test. The horizontal line test tests if a function has an inverse. Not all functions have an inverse. In some functions, in order to have an inverse, we need to limit the domain. Take the graph of the equation x plus 1 all cubed plus 2. If we perform the horizontal line test, we should be able to draw horizontal lines anywhere on the graph and the horizontal line will only touch the graph at one point. As you can see here, we have drawn three horizontal lines, each of which only touches the graph at one point. So this graph passes the horizontal line test so the equation f of x equals x plus 1 all cubed plus 2 does have an inverse. The inverse of the graph looks like this. And as you can see, the inverse passes the vertical line test, so is a function. Now let's take the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 1 and perform the horizontal line test. When we perform the horizontal line test, the function fails. There are many occasions where the horizontal line will touch the function in two places. This means that the graph of x squared minus 1, or the function of x squared minus 1, does not have an inverse. In order to have an inverse, we have to limit the domain to either positive integers or negative integers.